Hey folks, welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. So, a few videos ago, I hinted a, around about a, a some idea I had. Uh, I think I said it was a neat idea of uh, how to uh, rig up a feeder instead of the five gallon bucket with the little spigot. So uh, I got everything in and I put it together. And uh, it's over here, so let me show you what we got. Okay, drum roll. Here it is. <laughs> so I got my little wagon that I had extra. Got it hooked onto the gorilla cart. So what we've got is a North Star 10 gallon sprayer. So it holds 10 gallons and it runs on a 12 volt battery. And I rigged up this little gas pump fueler valve and uh, I got this on Amazon fill right three-quarter manual fuel nozzle I'll put a link down below to that you can check it out uh, this was uh, I think $27 and the North Star you get this is a northern tool uh, line so uh, you can get it online uh, but they charge you like another $39 to ship the thing and uh, if you got a a uh, northern tool near you uh, this was $99 at northern tool plus tax so it's got a little uh, pressure valve there I just keep it cranked all the way to the right so what it does is it basically pumps up until it reaches pressure and then shuts off but uh, to get the maximum volume out of it I just keep it cranked all the way if you let it down too much it starts recirculating and uh, pumping back into the tank down there uh, this is just a little 12 volt battery I had around I use this for electric fences expert power 12 volt that's a AGM battery you can recharge a bunch of them I have a lot of smaller ones like that I have on my game cameras but uh, so this is it uh, I'm gonna put the handle on my wagon here and uh, drag it down there and uh, we'll start filling up some feeders so I've got about uh, oh probably six seven gallons in there it's not completely full the problem is I don't remember which hives have the frame feeders in them because my notebook soaked and it's drying out and I wasn't able to go look through it so that one there has a top feeder and the number two swarm has a top feeder but it's it probably doesn't need anything in it but uh, I took the feeder off a of number one swarm and put a honey super on it in fact that's the super off a of number one let's try this out Okay, first we'll try it here on Hive 19. It's got a top feeder on here. I want to take a quick peek inside here. Make sure this hive is strong. It's got some nectar left over here and this side is empty. Yeah, it's good. Just didn't see a lot of bees going in and out of the entrance, so I was a little concerned. Man, look at this hive right here. Uh, hive 31. It is getting it. So hopefully they're uh, going to produce some honey. And uh, swarm one or one and two are right here. So swarm one is pretty strong two isn't as strong as one but not bad all right let's get back to the video here hey it's got a pretty long hose so you could probably do three or four hives in a row if you had that many so you turn on the power switch
and it surges at first because uh, it builds up quite a bit of pressure but after that it doesn't put out a whole lot but uh, it's got a nice little hook here get you a little better shot so yeah I'm gonna have to work on this uh, first when it takes off maybe if I put it down like this it won't pop as bad yeah not a whole lot of flow you know like a gas pump but uh, that's all you need Put a little more on this side, freshen it up. Let's see, swarm number swarm number two here has a top feeder on it. And that cleaned it out. I'm not going to put a whole lot in here. Okay, uh, our little nuke number 31 down there has a frame feeder in it. Let's go uh, hit it real quick. We might do a quick inspection on this too. There is a virgin queen in there. So this queen in here, man, she hasn't had a whole lot of opportunity to get out and mate. Entrance looks good. Got a few bees hanging out. It's a good population in here. So this was our micro swarm. She's a laying. There are eggs on this frame. If you can see them in there but there are eggs on there that's nectar there hopefully they're not laying worker eggs very faint like they had just been laid. We probably need to, uh, so many bees are in here, maybe move this on up to a 10 frame. This brood is uh, from the donor frame. This won't be from her. Here she is. Oh, way down there. Here she is. Man, I don't know. I guess she's mated. That was fast. She may have been returning from a mating flight uh, when I found her. She may be the queen from one of those uh, queenless hives. That uh, got lost or something. Okay, we don't want them starving out, so let's... Uh, Get some feed in there in that frame feeder. So I filled this frame feeder up about half full uh, before. There's a couple of floaters in there. 
I didn't order these with the uh, ladder system and the top cover. There, it's about two thirds full, so that's about how, oh, that's a half. That's about how long it took. Not too bad. I think I like this system. I'm probably going to stay with it. This little high is good to go. We've got one more top feeder over here. Let's hit it real quick. This hive was fairly weak. I reduced it. I chalked it up to uh, not enough forage out there. So this queen is getting kind of a second chance. Doesn't look bad. We'll do a full inspection in a week or so. Hold this up and the bees fly through it and they drown. So I drowned two already so I can get them out. Alright, that's the end of the video. Let me know what you think about my little feeder set up there. So, uh, looks like it went down maybe a couple inches. So, uh, I, I like it. Uh, it's handy. It's, uh, I like it better than carrying around five gallons. I can carry up to ten gallons in that. And uh, I think I'm going to like it, especially when I got uh, all my top feeders out and a lot of frame feeders uh, coming up, you know, in the fall when we're... Uh, getting our hives uh, prepped and ready to go through winter for the ones that don't have a lot of weight. So uh, you really got to get the sugar water in there. The uh, two to one mix uh, when you do it that time of year. This is 50-50. This is to help them uh, store and build up, uh, build comb and recover. So a lot of my hives are recovering from uh, really hard freeze last winter. So uh, that's the end of the video. Give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel on your way out and we'll catch you on the next beekeeping video. Y'all take care.